As you were, that we bring it all together. We're looking for completeness in your PPE. We're looking for you to be safe while you're out there operating on the fire ground. There's a lot of things that can occur on the fire ground that can cause you problems. And we focus 100% on safety here, and that's what I want to see out there operating today. This business is all around science. So fire behavior is very important to what we do. What's the heat release rate of the material that's burning in the box? What size is the box? To maintain your survivability when you're out there operating, you need to be aware of that situation. I want you to go out there and uh, fall in behind your gear in Class B uniforms. Go.
teamwork that we always talk about. Right? Sure. Sure. I want to see a good operation tonight. I want to see a smooth operation tonight. This is all about heart, drive, and desire. You have to work together on this to make this happen. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Demonstrate. I have two fingers aren't clenched around the tool. Everybody understand that? It's the third time we did that already. Okay. Last device is active. On three. One, two, three. Put it! Baby, let's get this party started! fire we can roll it all the way over your heads to the back of this place and show you rollover right in here in the observation area we can safely wash what we would consider flash over here you'll have four four ceiling fire down in this area here you know we could be at three to four hundred degrees here so with our hands up high that's going to put us in a danger area your gloves your mask your hood that stuff that's your weak links okay the rest of your gear holds up really well you'll feel it the most in those in those areas first so on, the, on your hands and knees that way, you're gonna set the nozzle down, crawl that way. Be careful not to let the nozzle, the uh, bail oh, open up on the right. nozzle, yes. And then you're moving up. You're now gonna be attack. All right, right. Good, all right, rotate. All right, rotate. On three, 83 fives. One, two, three, 83 fives! One's going to go ahead and make attack on that LP tank. Simulation is it's on fire, has direct flame impingement. I want to see that hose line, that hose stream in the vapor space. We want to prevent that blevy from happening. 
As the product leaves the tank, we have direct flame impingement on it, the tank's going to weaken and rupture. Once it ruptures, we have a blevy. We're on scene to prevent the blevy. The thing roars like a freight train and spits out about 20 to 30 feet of flame in the air. These are one of those in harm moments. We're putting you in harm's way, okay? stopping around you've been doing I want to see some drive all right I want to see some aggression today I want to see you moving rapidly today like you're on the fire ground like there is a real fire in this building like it's going to get away if we don't get our tails on that hose line and do what we need to do with it all right yes, sir. your entry to the building is going to be up the exterior steering wheel and down the side One, two, three, four! guys are there where you need to be. You got learned everything you need to in this class. So I want to see you get out there and do what you need to do. Today is about hose handling and nozzle control and moving together and working together. Again, you see what we did yesterday to put this together. We had to build walls to hold the roof up. This thing is nothing but sticks, as we always talk about. It's not the concrete building we got over there. If we're not on our game, this thing's going to the ground and everybody goes home. Good? 
<coughs> okay, get in there, monitor your air, and get in here and look at your gauge every once in a while. You're going to see a lot of fire behavior today. There's no doubt about that with what we have to deal with. Yes, sir. All right, back out the delta side. Yeah, baby, here we go. Let's do this. One, two, three, fight! Ropes and hose, baby. 83! Class 83! Aloha! Class 83 all day? 83 the finest, baby! It was coming up out of the room into the ceiling. Um, it was hot, so much more fuel. It was coming up over our heads, over everybody's heads. A lot more intense, um, a lot more action. The amount of water that we put on it was surprising uh, compared to uh, 
our structure burn from uh, class uh, was definitely a lot faster because I was seeing all that water come up but none of it was coming back down. So the rafter was constantly catching them back on fire. It would look like it was uh, touching them, touching their instructors, just flames licking them everywhere. Came right in there, you know, you see smoke everywhere. You actually got to see the uh, layering, thermal layering, which is like, it was perfect. Like, it was clear and dark and we had it, you know, they wanted to build it up so we had it like jet coming right out of that door, just coming around and just falling wherever that air was going. You could see the uh, the fire room, the fire was rolling over. Uh, so over your head, when we were the backup line, we had to keep shooting over the attack line, the attack crew's head, because it was rolling right over them. So we would put it out, and uh, really not a whole lot of water came down, so it was pretty hot in there. Oh, it was awesome. We were first in on the attack line, and the flames were already rolling out through the door. Caught a couple trees on fire, but we took care of it. It was pretty cool, and it went down pretty quick, pretty fast. So it was awesome. It was a good day. We're all tired, though. Class 83, live burn, an incredible day out here. Uh, two rounds of going in there, watching the fire go over our head, watching many different fire conditions, getting to work the nozzle, then allowing to see it burn down completely. Working the exposure lines on the outside, protecting the exposures, just working together as a team. Awesome training here at Palm Beach State College.